Hi, I'm, I'm Christina and welcome back to my channel. Um, I love shopping secondhand for both home decor, clothing, as well as creating beauty in the everyday. Um, and yeah, so I know I wanted to take a little pause from the thrifting um, and create more content on about what I already have, but I also forgot that I had a consignment appointment to see if I could sell a couple of the things I was looking to declutter for my wardrobe. Um, and so that brought me onto Main Street where there's a lot of consignment stores, vintage and thrift stores. So I thought since I was already in the area, I would take a little look for a couple gaps in my closet, including jeans, both dark and I really want a pair of cream um, colored jeans and some other basic pieces to fill in a couple of gaps. So let's roll the footage and take a look at what I was able to find. All right, so first up was Front and Company on Main Street. It's a really big consignment store that has a lot of like on-trend pieces. However, you'll see like the prices do reflect the curation. And because it is consignment, so they're like paying people for their clothes, prices are a little more expensive. But you also see cute little dog friends around. I feel like thrifting has definitely skewed my perception of prices. Um, so it's hard for me to justify seeing these when I'm like, maybe I could find these for myself at a thrift store. Of course, I have to look through the shirts. I'm always keeping an eye out for anything made out of 100% silk, linen, or cotton. I always just like flick through and pick up the colors that I think I'm into and that look like they might be made of materials that I like. Um, and now this black shirt was made out of silk and is from Club Monaco. They're actually my favorite brand to thrift um, because they have a lot of high quality basics, but this piece was a bit more expensive and wasn't exactly the right cut. They also have a pretty generous selection of shoes and accessories. Um, here's a cute little leather backpack that I thought was worth another look, um, but I actually have a leather backpack already. And so the next stop was Main Exchange, which is right next door. And I feel like I was really focusing on trying to find more um, pants, especially in cream and terracotta. I also would love to find a, like an olive green pair. They also had some cool shoes. I thought these were really pretty. Um, like a croc skin effect leather, but they were like $96, which is more than I think I can justify for white shoes that I will probably run very soon. And these are also cute. I like the brown sole and black leather. So these are the first pants I tried on. Um, unfortunately, they're a bit loose on the waist and I'm trying to avoid pants that I have to wear a belt with to keep up. And these, they fit better on the waist, but they're a bit more like flared out at the bottom, which I'm not really as into it. The first pair were they're more like straight down, uh, more of a tapered look. And these ones were $47. And these were a terracotta color. I actually don't mind the wide leg, like straight down look. And I thought they were kind of cool, but they didn't quite fit too well either. And now these were a pair of Levi 501s. And I feel like they've been so popular um, as like the classic straight leg cut, but I feel like they never quite fit me quite right. I feel like I get like too much extra fabric. My leg crease is, um, and these were like $50. Last pair. They were definitely too small, obviously. <laughs> so on to some more thrifty stores. So this is the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store also on Main Street. Um, they have a lot of home decor little knickknacks there. Um, I don't tend to find a ton here, but I decided to stop in and I was glad I did today. So the first thing I found was this cute little wooden carved bird. And then I also found this little gold frame that I thought was, the frame was really cute. The art was like squishy, it's kind of weird. And I found these two wooden utensils. I like the patina and the texture of them. I got this little honey dipper. I'm thinking maybe if I go back to ceramics, I'd like to make myself a little honey pot. Um, I do find like they have a decent selection of vintage books here. Um, I didn't find anything that I, that I liked, but I always like taking a quick look. And I also came across this cute little bag. I was really tempted for a little bit, but I think it was just a little small that I don't think I would get a ton of use out of it. Um, that it was cute. And I was on to the Salvation Army. So I headed in and took a look at the sweaters. This red sweater was made out of cashmere and it was really soft, but the shade of red was a bit more blue than I like. And with wool and cashmere sweaters, I always make sure to take a thorough look at quality. And I noticed that there were some darned holes and some holes um, under the sleeves, so I passed on that. And I always love looking through the neutral sweaters because, um, well, I definitely have enough, but I always like looking through because that's kind of just what I'm attracted to. 
um, all the neutrals and the creams. So I kind of passed over the grays and blacks because I'm not a huge fan of wearing them and all the bright colors weren't really catching my eye and moving back onto the neutrals. I also like going through the blazer section. Um, I've been looking out for a like a hound tooth plaid blazer or um, something cute and like oversized. This one I found was like very vintage. Um, the buttons on this were, were like really heavy, high quality buttons, but the shoulder pads were immense. I actually did try it on, but I didn't get a clip of it. Um, but the shoulder pads were way too boxy and the material didn't actually feel very nice. So I left that behind. I found these shoes in white um, that I thought were cute. And I also found them in black, um, which actually fit a little bit better, even though I think they were the same size. And I found these jeans from Cause that were very tempting. And I, again, looking through the shirt section, this one was made of Cupro, which I think is one of those like semi-natural materials and was really shiny, but I don't like that it has like the pre-made tie portion. And I think this top might've been silk, which is why I was looking at it, even though I'm not a fan of like the ruffles down the center. I'm still looking out for a good linen um, white shirt. So I was looking through them there. I thought this one was kind of cool with embroidery on the pocket and the collar um, and the subtle stripe, even though it was a little yellowed. And I thought these little tops were cute. Um, this blue one is kind of the cut that I've been looking to incorporate. Um, and I'm really obsessed with like this warm cornflower blue. I also found this linen t-shirt. and this um, satin top that I thought was cute. Um, so I found these little flower plates um, and they were $4.99 and I thought they were really cute, but I didn't need three of them, so I decided to pick my favorite. And I thought the shape of this was really cute, but I didn't really have a use for it. I always love going through the kitchenware to see if I can find anything cute. And this was a little handmade mug, um, but I'm trying to be more selective. I also thought this little, um, this Dutch cow was really cute, but I did find these um, two brass candlesticks that were really pretty, nice, heavy brass, and I picked those up. Always can't resist looking through the frames. Um, I'm always looking for good ones that I can make art for. Um, and then I saw this lamp. I thought it was a really cool style, but it was a little broken. So here I am trying this on. This linen shirt was nice, but a little too oversized. This like was a nice muslin cotton, but didn't fit very flatteringly, but I do like the material. And this shirt, I felt like it was okay. Um, a little more boxy than I wanted, I guess, but maybe it would have been better without my shirt underneath. All right, and for the haul of a couple things that I found. Um, so yeah, I was looking for a couple of basic tops and colors that I didn't really feel like I had, as well as jeans. So the first piece I found was this cute little cornflower blue tank top. Um, I know we're kind of coming out of summer, but I love wearing this color. I've been really obsessed with it lately and I love the cut of this. I've been wanting to add like a more high neck um, tank top to my collection. So I thought I'd try this piece on and I actually really adore it. It's actually just from Ardeen. It was $5.99, which I think was like probably a little bit pricey for what it is, but hey, it's more sustainable than shopping directly. And I really like the color and it fits really cute. And the second top I picked up was this really cute blush top from um, Rachel Roy. It's a size extra small. Um, I was debating between this and a linen shirt, and usually I always gravitate towards natural fibers, as you guys probably have already picked up. And, and this one is 100% polyester, but I thought it was really cute, um, and it's really soft. And because it's short sleeved, I figured there's not that much fabric that'll be like trapping in too much heat. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to get more tops up in different silhouettes because I feel like I usually go for like a general blouse button up type shirt or t-shirt, and I wanted to have something with a little extra flair. Um, and yeah, so I really like this color. I like how it's like a more like, I don't know, dusty blush tone, so it's not too bright. Um, and I thought these little ruffles were really cute in the way that it had the tie across the front. So yeah, and this was also $5.99. And then I tried to find some jeans, um, and I don't think I filmed finding these because I found them just before I went to check out. I think maybe they might have just been put on the rack, or maybe somebody put them back. But they are these really pretty like cream maybe a crew shade of like mom jeans. Um, and they're from Bongo and they're made in the USA. 
Um, the patch on the back is a little loud for me, but I think they were really cute. Um, and this color is exactly what I was looking for. And I love the little copper details on them. And yeah, I knew they were like gonna be really long on me. Like, I don't know. Here. I knew they were gonna be really long on me. Um, and I wasn't really sure they were gonna fit. And it's so annoying that they removed all the change rooms after COVID hit from the all the thrift stores. But I thought I'd give them a try because they were like a really nice, like sturdy, I think like 100% cotton um, material. And they were $11.99. So I thought I'd try them on. Um, and see how they worked. But I think they are a little too loose on me, even though I love the wash and the cut of these. Um, I think I'm trying to tell myself only to buy things that fit me perfectly or ones that I can easily make work perfectly. Um, and I think these are gonna be close, but not quite there. I feel like even if I kept these, I'd still want something similar, but that fit better. And that's kind of what I know. Maybe I should just wait and hold out for the piece that fits perfectly. So I don't have a bunch of them. Um, I didn't my wardrobe that just don't fit quite right. But yeah, I'll try them on for you. I found another pair of jeans. I actually really like this like darker deep wash of denim. Um, and they're really pretty like straight leg cut. Um, and they're from Cause, which I know is like a pretty like, it's like a higher end sister to H&M. Um, I don't think they have them in Canada, but they are in Europe and maybe the US. But yeah, I thought they were like a really great wash. They also are that 100% cotton material. Um, but still with like a little bit of stretch. Um, and I was hoping that these would work, but unfortunately like they fit me a lot better than the other pair, but I feel like they're too short. Like I do like a more cropped like ankle length, but I feel like these are too cropped and there's like too much like leg and ankle on show. Um, and I think again, I don't think it's quite what I'm looking for, even though I love that it has a button fly, really nice wash, really nice material. Um, and also they're probably like a smidge like larger on me as well but yeah um i really like the cut of these i just wish they were like a little longer i thought about a seam ripping the hem on the bottom so that they would be like that little bit longer but i also feel like i generally prefer like a clean cut on the bottom of my jeans so i feel like that won't be the vibe i want either so i'm going to hold out and try and see if i can find the perfect pair so yeah i want something cream um and i want some like more dark wash with like a straight leg cut um, and I think I'll still have to look out for them. So I got these pair of shoes from the Salvation Army um, and I thought they were really cute. I've been really wanting like a more strappy sandal um, with a block heel because I can't tolerate a high heel but I think a block heel is a great way to add a bit of height while still feeling steady when you walk and I thought these were the cutest. Um, they're from Aldo and yeah, I really like them. So I have the blue tank top on with the cream jeans that I thrifted. Um, and I really love the top. I think that the neckline is really flattering as well as I really love the color. It makes me really happy. So I'm definitely keeping the top, but the bottoms, uh, they just like are, I think a size too big for me. Um, and out of the fact that they're way too long on me and I'd either have to hem them um, or like cut them off or do something with them, I think it's just not gonna be worth it. Um, but yeah, I've definitely confirmed that I really want a pair of jeans this color. And I've been actually trying on like different pairs of white jeans for like ages. Um, and I'll just have to keep looking. And here we have the um, blush top that I thrifted, um, also paired with the white jeans. I think it's actually such a cute color look. Um, basically, I think I love cream jeans because I, I'm a little bit particular with what colors I like pairing with which. Uh, but I think all of them pretty much look good with a cream color. But yeah, I love like the floaty romanticness of this top with the little ruffles on the sleeves. Usually I'm not a huge ruffle person, but I kind of like the effect that they have on this as well as like the little ruching detail and tie in the middle. Um, yeah, so I think it's a good like option that's a little bit more different from what I have in my closet. Um, so yeah, I think it looks really cute and I'm gonna be keeping this as well. But yeah, like wouldn't it look really cute with cream pants? I gotta find me a pair. And now I have the blue top on with the blue, the dark wash jeans from Cause. Um, yeah, I actually am really sad about these because they fit really comfortably. Like they have a bit of give to them, even though they are that like 100% like cotton feel. Um, and I think that the cut overall is flattering. They're just too short. Um, I feel like there's too much like exposed and especially like in the winter, I think I'll just be a little bit too cold and not want to reach for them. But yeah, I really wish they do fit but maybe I'll have to check out jeans from Cause um, in the future. Oh, and if anyone's curious, um, I actually thrifted this green silk top. It's originally from H&M, I got for like $10. 
um, but I love the satiny sage color. Um, and I also thrifted the necklace, it was $12 and it's gold plated and has a really pretty like braided detail if you can see. Um, and the belt also thrifted originally from The Gap and 100% leather. And these jeans I bought in Montreal and they're from Guess. For the non-clothing pieces that I picked up, I picked up this little china dish. I thought it was really precious. Um, I love the little pink floral that it has on it um, with a little name of what it is. What is it? Um, Alethea Officiatanus? I don't know. Um, but I thought it was really cute. Um, and I was kind of looking for a dish like this to kind of corral either my makeup or my skincare. Like sometimes I have my skincare on my bedside table and it all ends up like falling all over the place. So I think this would be really cute or even for snacks if I have people over. It's from Royal Vale and it's made in England um, and it was $4.99. And another two pieces that I got were also made in England. These pair of brass candlesticks, they are $4.99 each. Um, they're really heavy um, and they say England on the bottom. And yeah, they feel like a really nice quality brass. I know I'm trying to tone it down on the brass candlestick front, but I thought these are really cool. Um, and maybe I'll have to sell another one in my collection to make space for these. But I thought they were really cute. I love decorating with brass um, and candlesticks and animals and other decor. So I got these. And I popped into the St. Vincent de Paul on Main Street. Um, I usually don't really go in because I find that one to be a little chunkier. I've once like actually looked through all the clothes and I didn't find a single piece that I liked, which is kind of surprising because I usually am able to find at least one thing I like um, when I look thoroughly. Um, but sometimes they have a good decor piece or two. And so I decided I'd pop in really quick to just see if they had anything. And I'm glad I did because I found this little guy. It's like a carved wooden bird. Um, but I feel like the lines are, of it are different than anything I've seen. I don't know. It looks almost like Egyptian or something like the way um, and quite modern with the way the wings are and all that. So I thought I'd add this um, to my decor collection. Um, and see where it fits in best. But yeah, I really like the tone of this wood and it just looked really unique in the terms of the style. Oh, and the bird was um, $2. And then these, I really liked <laughs> the patina of these. I know it might be a bit weird, but um, with a good wash, I think I'm gonna add them to my little jar of utensils. Um, and he also threw this guy in for free. Um, I really like the <laughs> look of a honey dipper. I do need to still find a honey jar, but now I'll have the dipper to complete it if it doesn't come with one. Um, and yeah, and I got this little frame, uh, mostly for like completely actually only for the frame. It has like a weird like padded printed art thing on it, which I'm not really into. So what I'm going to do is take this out and um, paint a little something for it. But I thought the little size of it was really sweet and a great little um, size to add to like a gallery wall or standalone for a small statement on a wall. So yeah, I got this for a dollar and then I got they gave me all three of these for $2. So I spent $5 there um, and I was glad I popped in. Also a little bit random, but I actually got this book at my gym because they have a little section where they're doing a book sale for like collecting donations for some charity. Um, so sometimes I glance at it when I'm at the gym and I found this guy. First of all, I really like that. It's a nice, warm, like neutral, beigey tone um, and it's creative illustration. So I actually do want to flip through it and get some ideas, but there's a lot of cool, illustrations in it that I th think that I could learn from and maybe potentially try and copy and what advice they have like I just thought like they have some cool art in there as well as like some general ideas on like composition which I wanted a book on that anyway to kind of learn because I think I tend to go with a usual like rule of thirds um keeping things like in a like a two by two grid and trying to keep things on the line but i think there's more interesting ways to do composition so i'm excited to take a look at this and i think it'll look great on a shelf so um dual purpose <laughs> also for the book sale all the books were five dollars a piece so i got this book for five bucks which i am really happy about and that is a wrap um i hope you like seeing a little peek of all the things that i bought recently um if you like the video give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more thrifting content um and yeah comment below if you found anything cool recently i'd love to know Bye.